The shaping tool. The shaping tool is used to shape an object that includes no points and borders. Node points can be edited by deleting, adding, and changing the type of node. Certain node points have angle anchors that can be adjusted to create the angle that's necessary for the border. You can also create border curves by selecting and holding the area while moving the mouse pad. In this tool, there are options where you can edit the starting point and ending point of the selected object. The green will be used as a starting point and the red will be used as the ending point. The shaping tool includes a stitch angle option. You will notice a yellow line with two black nodes that will indicate the trajectory of the stitches. The amount of angle lines that will be available will depend on the type of stitch that has been chosen. For example, you can find a single angle line on a full stitch and multiple angle lines on a satin stitch. Lastly, you can find extra options by clicking the border. For example, adding splits, holes, or embossed lines.